What's going on, chain gang? Matty Ice here from Convicted Vapes. That's right, it's been a couple days, but I'm back for another review for you, the vaping fucking public, because I love you motherfuckers. Anyway, uh, as usual, I have something, um, something pretty interesting, pretty fucking cool. Uh, it's gonna be a review on a box mod. A fully mechanical box mod. Fuck it. You know what? You know what, guys? I might as well show this thing to you. Bam. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. For you guys that don't know what the fuck I'm holding in my hand, as you could tell by the title of this video, this is the Copper Cherry Bomber box mod by MCV, Masterpiece Custom Vapes. Filipino Pinoy made box mod. Uh, this is an all copper box. Well, mostly copper. It's got some brass, some Delrin on it, but it's it's a solid chunk. It's it was milled from a solid chunk of copper. It's it's a uh, it's billet. It's billet copper, which is extremely expensive. This started off as a solid solid chunk of copper. Um, it's CNC machined which is pretty fucking cool. This is a dual 18650 parallel box. Um, you can run this in single. You could run this with a single 18650 battery. So it's either dual or a single 18650. Fully mechanical. No wires whatsoever. No MOSFET. Totally unregulated box. Um, this thing is so fucking heavy, guys. Uh, this is like... This is right around two pounds with the batteries in it, two pounds worth of mod here. This is by far the heaviest mod I've ever held in my hands. Um, I mean, I got a box mod here that takes 10 18650s. I got one on the way that takes 10 26650s, but that's another video. But anyway, that thing doesn't even weigh as much as this. This is a solid fucking chunk of copper, and I don't know what type of copper this is, um, but it's high quality. It is extremely gorgeous. Extreme, extremely gorgeous. This is number two. Usually I get, usually Joy, Joy, by, by the way, thank you. Joy Suriano sent this to me. Um, I believe they did not ship out yet. So I'm not sure how many people have their hands on these at this moment, but I'm sure there's not too many in the United States that actually have one besides the major retailers for MCV. Um, but thank you. Thank you. He sent this to me to review. I only paid shipping on this. I did not pay for this box. I paid, it was like $60, $50 or $60 for shipping, two-day shipping from the Philippines. That's all that I paid. So I did not pay for this. But I just want to let, it's not going to change my view of the review. I, I am friends with Joy. Um... I'm going to tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. If there's anything I don't like about it or if there's anything I like about it, well, there is stuff I like about it. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, just from looking at it, I like it. So. <laughs> but it's fucking cool, guys. It says it's this. This is pretty much the same thing as the aluminum Cherry Bomber, the original Cherry Bomber, with a couple changes being that it's copper, it's heavier, um, and like the later runs of the original uh, Cherry Bomber, it has the notch and the screw hole in the mod and the battery door to hold it in place, which Joy forgot to ship, which is no big deal. Um, he rushed it out to me to review, so no big deal. I'll get a copper. It comes with a copper screw, even though I can't show you. It comes with stock with a copper screw in it, so when you purchase this, you will, if you purchase it, you will receive a copper screw with it. Um, it like I said, it's pretty much the same thing as the aluminum version it's little brother. It says, uh, you want clouds? We got clouds. Cherry Bomber MCV Philippines. Fuck all cloners. Number two. Like I said, usually he, he engraves it for me. I'll put, you know, take it deep or convicted vapes or 420, whatever the fuck the case may be. I said, you know what? Just, uh, just send me, uh, see if you can get me number one. He, unfortunately, I couldn't get number one because I believe someone over at Vape Happy got their hands on it. They are the main, dish, uh, retailer for mcv in the united states one of them um but they uh he, he he was able to get me number two so i said yeah don't even bother engraving it just send it on out just like that so there it is you want clouds we got clouds cherry bomber fuck all cloners which is 
A beautiful touch, by the way, Joey Soriano. Soriano. I love the fact that you put fuck all cloners on the front of this box. And then it's got the serializing uh, right underneath the fuck all cloners. So, bam. If you guys can see that. Then on the side, it's got the uh, Masterpiece Custom Vapes, MCV Philippines, on the side. And you have your fire button which is spring. There is a spring in here. It's a brass. I'm not sure if it's naval brass. I'm not sure if it's naval. It's probably naval brass, brass lead-free brass. I'm really tired. I'm stuttering a lot on this video, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, motherfuckers. I'm, I'm, I'm just fucking... I had a long day, so I'm a little tired, but I'm going to try to get all the information in here that I can. Um, on the bottom, these are the two negative contacts. You're going to screw them in and out. You're going to screw them out to get your batteries out, and you're going to screw them in when you have the batteries in so they make contact with the positive pins on the top. Here's your 510 connection. All the contacts in here are copper. So everything that has current flowing through it is copper. The 510 itself that the atomizer threads into is brass, but the fire pin, the actual positive pin that makes contact with the contact on your atomizer is copper, along with all the contacts on the inside that make contacts with you, that contact with your battery. Um, the back of this door, it's a little patinaed from shipping. I gotta polish it up, and it's gonna, it's copper. So you guys, if if whoever, whatever shop you buy this from, if they don't polish it, you're gonna probably need to polish it because it is gonna be patinaed from the weather change, being shipped from the Philippines, from the warm climate to the cold climate stuff will patina, it will, you know, the copper will, you know, perspirate, it will uh, build up condensation and then dry, and it will create some patina, so you're just going to have to polish it most likely, no big deal, it has a nice finish on it. Um, so the battery cover is bare on the outside, but then if you actually pop this open, bam, on the inside you have that beautiful engraving with the hand, with the puppet strings, and it says MCV Familia, limited edition. So this is a limited run. There wasn't. I'm not exactly sure how many of these were made. I don't have that number, but I know there wasn't as many of these made as the original Cherry Bomber. So MCV Familia, MCV Family. Familia means family, obviously. Um, very thick battery door. This is <laughs> this thing is so fucking heavy, guys. You could murder someone with this. I wish, uh, right off the bat, I wish he would have did this on the outside. Unfortunately, you can't get this to show on the outside. It doesn't work. But when you pop it open, you get a nice little surprise. It's still, it's still very cool engraving. I just wish it would have been on the outside of the back of the box so you could, so you could see it when you're looking at the back of the box. But no big deal. Very beautifully engraved. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me give you a better shot of that gorgeous this thing is very very beautiful beautifully made um and like i said there is a screw hole he forgot to ship the uh the screw with it a copper screw to hold the this battery door in it will fall out but when you have it to the side it does have notches in the battery door so it, it'll hang there and then you actually have to pull it off so it, it won't slide all the way out. Being that it's so heavy, it, it falls out. But it does stop right there. But like I said, you'll have the screw when you... If you purchase this, you will have the screw with it. So you won't have to worry about this coming loose. I'm going to go to the hardware store and pick up a copper screw tomorrow. Very nice, though. Very nice. Um, let me put this to the side, and I'll show you guys the inside. This is going to be a little bit of a long review. I can tell you that right now. <clears throat> beautifully, beautifully made. Before I get into the internals and how everything works, let me read you something off of vapehappy.com. Am I saying that right? Let me double check here. B, B E, vapehappy.com is one of the main distributors of MCV Philippines. They distribute all the authentic MCV mods in the United States. And uh, it is on pre-order still, guys. So they're not shipping these out till uh, February 27th. Or actually, excuse me, we're not even in February. The pre-order was until February 27th. It ended. 
So these might have shipped out already, to tell you the truth. They probably did ship out. I'm sorry. My mistake. Hey, I'm only human. I fuck up too. What do you want me to do? Um, what's What the fuck is today's date? I don't even know what today's date is. I don't even know if we're in February. That's how fucking tired I am, guys. I can't even remember today's date. Jesus fuck. Um, either way, it's a pre-order, 227.15. I'm not sure if that's when they ship out or, or when the pre-order runs, ran till, I, whatever, I don't know, whatever the case may be. Let me read you the description here. Vape Happy is proud to present the new Copper Cherry Bomber Box Mod by MCV Philippines. Um, serial number, uh, 0088 is also available on this page. So, it was a, uh... The run was from 1 to 25, but I guess because they were supposed to get my number 2, I guess he replaced it with number 88. So that is still available, number 88 and 1 through 25. I don't know if they're still available, but that's the numbers they were doing. <clears throat> like I said, I'm tired. You're going to have to excuse me. So I'm doing the best I can here, guys. I really am. <laughs> Uh, specifications, it's 53 millimeters uh, times 26 millimeters wide, uh, 100 millimeters in height. So it's, um, yeah, 53 millimeters long, 26 millimeter width, and 100 millimeter height. That's how tall it is, 100 millimeters. Uh, all copper body, new locking door. Like I said, they put the screw in there so it locks. It is serialized, works in single or dual 18650 mode, like I said, floating adjustable copper contacts. So they are, they do float and they are adjustable as well. I'll show you what they mean by that. Brass 510 connection, like I showed you. Brass firing pin, what they mean is the, the, the firing button is brass, but the pin that actually makes contact on the inside is copper. Um, threaded 510 Delrin insulator, so it's easier, easily replaceable. What did I do with this thing? Jesus Christ, here it is. So the 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 uh the white Delrin insert that the 510 sits in, this actually unscrews from the copper itself. So you can this unscrews from the Delrin and then the Delrin unscrews from the actual copper body of the mod, so you can replace everything. Everything comes apart in this mod. Um it's totally uh you're you're able to disassemble the whole entire thing for cleaning. Um yeah, like it says right here, completely disassembled for easy maintenance, made only in the Philippines. Um, okay, so yeah, please note that this is a pre-order currently scheduled to ship out 2-17-2015 from Vape Happy. This date is subject to change. Please check back on this page for any updates. And then it says shipment has been delayed until the last week of February 2015 per MCV Philippines. So uh, these will go out the last week of February. Let me see here. And they do have the silver contacts for this thing on Vape Happy 2. The silver contacts for the Cherry Bomber, that will fit both. And they also have the regular Cherry Bomber, the, the uh, aluminum version. But anyway, um, enough about that. I made myself look stupid enough here. Let me, uh, let me show you the internals. I showed you the battery door with the engraving. Um, this thing, like I said, is was a solid billet piece of copper. CNC machined. This was milled right out of a solid block of copper. It doesn't get any stronger than this. This is so fucking heavy. Like I said, with the batteries in it, I'm guessing it's going to be around two pounds. Um, no wires. It's fully mechanical. Um, as you can see, it's all copper contacts on the inside. You got your two con copper contacts here, two copper contacts in the bottom, and like I said, you're going to screw these up and down uh, to push the batteries up into the top contacts to make your batteries nice and snug. Um, these screws in here do float. Let me show you. These sit in a solid piece of Delrin that you simply, you literally just, bam. Let me push these down. I'll show you that in a second. Now, here is the view of the Copper Cherry Bomber without the Delrin insert with with the contacts in it so you have this big ass copper ring that screws into the uh, 510 connection that 
in turn makes this nice and snug. So that actually, this actually screws on to the brass, the brass 510, and that's what keeps this in one place. So this does unscrew, and it's not reversed or anything. And then the top pin that actually goes up through, so that that copper pin in there goes all the way through, and there you have the uh, copper positive pin, the copper positive contact. So it's all copper, and then like I said, the fire button, as you could see, very simple. There is a spring in here, like I said. It's simply, boom, it sits, it's actually flattened. This ring, I don't know if you can see this, guys, but this ring is actually flat on one side, so you know how, you know where to set it to after you put it back together, after you clean it, take it apart, and then put it back together. You want that flat side of the ring to be sitting exactly even with this copper firing contact and that's how it works bam you just hit your button it makes contact with the atomizer um, and this whole box is the ground so they're actually using this entire box as the ground for these batteries um, now how it works is These are your copper positive pins. They do float, as you can see. You can push them up and down in the Delrin, but they also adjust with a flathead. So if they're still not making contact, or if you're running nipple batteries and you, uh, you know, if you need more room, you could screw them in. Or if you're using flat tops and your batteries just aren't making contact, you could screw these out, and you'll make contact with any type of battery you put in here. And uh, how it distributes battery uh, power between both batteries is there's this copper strip. As you can see, this copper strip goes across from both contacts, and that way you're getting juice from both batteries. So when you have this inside the mod, boom, like I said, it just, it literally slides right in and out. So bam, very clean. I mean, this just doesn't get any cleaner. This is similar to the Dimitri box. Um, I was looking at a clone Dimitri box the other day because I haven't held a, a real one in my hands, but I was looking at the Dimitri, and although there is subtle differences, it's the same concept. Bam, very beautiful. Everything sits perfectly flush. Every The Delrin is perfectly cut. Um, it doesn't just slide out either. It's, it sits snug in there, so once you... Uh, once you put that in there, it's not it's not going anywhere. It's not just going to fall out on you. But yeah, so when you put your batteries in, you're going to tighten these screws. They're going to, in turn, push your batteries up into these. Now, once that these push, push up, they're making contact with your batteries. And the pin on the firing side, so it would be your, uh, I don't know, what would that be? Your left? This pin right here is actually what's making contact with this positive pin in the 510 connection that's making contact with your atomizer. So the, the, the strip of copper I showed you on the inside is what is actually distributing power from that battery all the way to the side that the actual contact that makes connection to your atomizer, if that made any sense. So this side is the one that actually touches the pin. I think I got my message across, but yeah. Um, and they are adjustable, like I said. So now, with your batteries in here, this is touching, your, your battery's making contact. You're making positive contact as soon as you put the batteries in and screw your atomizer on. But when you hit this fire button, boom, now you're completing the ground. You're completing the ground now, and it's going to fire. So you're you're making positive contact. Like I said, as soon as you put the batteries in, screw your atomizer on, your positive is there. Your positive connection is fully making contact with everything. But not until you hit this fire button does it touch the side of that round ring, that copper ring on the inside, and make a ground contact and fire the mod. So therefore, this whole entire mod is a ground. So when you have an atomizer on here, and say you're cottoning it up on the mod... Just be careful you don't touch the scissors to the mod and then 
to the to the uh, the body the well of the atomizer because you it it will spark. I don't. It's probably not going to be bad. It's probably not a big deal. But I mean, you just might want to take in mind, keep in mind that you really don't want to make put your scissors on the the the, the mod itself and then make contact with the scissors on the actual atomizer because you will complete the circuit. Okay, so just keep that in mind. The whole box is the ground. So, uh, very nice. There is a spring in this button. Now, like I said on my last review of the original Cherry Bomber, you can get the Panzer magnets and put them in here. They do fit. The Panzer magnets will fit in here, so you could switch them. If you do have magnets in your Panzer, you can take them out and put them right in the Cherry Bomber. The spring is very nice. The stock spring, it's a beautiful action on it. And this is a twisting locking me mechanism. So you're simply going to twist the button. It would be to my right, which is your left, I believe. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know. It's fucking late and I'm tired. So you just twist it. Now it is locked. It will not fire. And then you just twist it back and you're ready to rock. Simple twist. It's really very, very simple. There's nothing to it. Very smooth locking mechanism. It doesn't get caught. Um, and there's no internal mechanism that locks this. It's just notches cut out in the, in the copper itself. There's really very little to go wrong with this box. It is very simplistic. Um, it's beautifully made, beautifully machined. The walls of this copper, of this box, are extremely thick. I'm not, I don't have the measurements, but this is solid. This is a solid chunk of copper. It's so fucking heavy. You could kill someone with this box easily if you smacked them in the head. Um, you don't want to drop this thing. If you drop this on cement, you're going to damage it. It won't, it's not, it'll still work, but you're going to, you're going to take a chunk out of the copper just because there's so much weight to it. So, I mean, when you're spending this much on a mod, and yes, I'll get to price in a second, it is pretty pricey. When you're spending this much on a mod, you want to be careful not to drop it. This is something I really will, I, I might take it to the shop and leave it there in the shop and vape on it all day. But as far as going out, if you're a construction worker or you're a plumber or you're an electrician and you're constantly beating shit up, I would not take this out. It's a showpiece. It's way too nice and pretty to take to a, a violent work environment. This is something, this is this is a centerpiece. It's a masterpiece. Masterpiece Custom Vapes. There you go. Um, so let me, uh, I got some fully charged E-Fest 2500 milliamp hour batteries. The 35 amp purple E-Fest here, they're fully charged. I'm going to throw them in here. You're simply, like I said, these screws are backed out on the bottom. Simply going to take a flathead. And you're going to snug the screws up nice and tight. They don't have to be too tight. Just nice and snug. Now we are making positive contact. Bam. You see how that sits now? They pushed up on the batteries. Now they're in snug. These batter There's no battery rattle. The batteries are not going anywhere. And also, your battery vent hole is on the bottom. As you can see in between the two negative pins, there is a vent hole for the battery. Not that you need it because air can escape through the door of the mod, so heat can escape right through there, but there is a vent hole. Um, so we're going to throw this back on. Look at this engraving, man. This thing is just so fucking beautiful. Uh, Joy, you really did a good job on this. Um, it's just perfectly, perfectly machined. It's just so simplistic, yet so beautiful. I mean, as you guys know, simple is better. You know what I mean? There's no wires. There's no MOSFET. You could build as low as you want on this thing. It's not going to damage a fucking thing. Um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous mod. And uh, this is Roger Rabbit's girlfriend riding a bomb. It's like the old 1960 style, style bombers, the paintings they used to have on them. And that is Jessica Rabbit. Yes, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I remember the name, Jessica Rabbit. But anyway, we have the batteries in here. We're ready to go. Let's get the... Uh, I'm going to use the Troll. Got the Troll Atomizer here by Wotofo. 
Very beautiful 510 connection, I might add. Very smooth. You could just wing the atomizer right on. Let me make sure this is juiced up. I got some Royal Bastard here. Virgin Queen. Delicious juice. Delicious juice. Jeff reviewed it on the channel. You might want to pick some up. God, this is a long review. But you know what? This deserves a long review. It's an expensive, beautiful mod. Uh, we're, I'm going to go over the price in a second before I end the video. Actually, you know what? I might as well do it now. Let me double check the price. This is on Vape Happy for $349.99. So this is a $350 box mod. Now, I know what you guys are saying to yourselves. $350 fucking dollars. Holy shit. But you know what? These guys are buying Zeros, the Zero box mod, the regulated box mods, and they're buying... Geppettos for $1,500, $1,500, um, $2,000. For someone that wants something very, very nice that's unregulated, that doesn't have a fucking garbage Chinese-made DNA chip in it, because, yes, even the ones that say they say they're made in Arizona that are supposedly made in the United States, they come from fucking China, okay? I'm sorry. they f that, The secret's out. They come from fucking China. But anyway, yeah. The price is very expensive, so this is not for everybody. Um, I'm sort of up in the air whether I would actually drop that much money. I most likely would if I had to. If Joy didn't send this to me to review, most likely I would break down and spend the $350 to buy it because I'm a dickhead and I like burning holes in my pockets. <laughs> it's worth it. Look, you're not going to find something this heavy and this much copper cheap. You're just not. There's so much fucking copper involved in making this it's ridiculous copper is not cheap so for someone that wants a, a, a very nice unregulated copper box 350 really for the material i gotta say is is reasonable i mean it's it's a ton of copper used in this thing but without further ado ooh, look at that bad boy let's fucking vape this thing here we go Dual macro, uh, dual coils. These aren't macro coils. They're like two millimeter coils. In the troll, let's go. Very nice clouds. Let me drip a little bit more on here. This thing fucking rips. I actually had, when I first opened this, I I threw on the, uh, I had a, I have a dark horse I threw on here with dual 20 gauge macro coils at like .08 ohms or something like that. And it was just, it hit so hard, no matter how much juice I drowned the coils in, you could taste cotton because it was just hitting so fucking hard. So I had to use I had to use an atomizer that I had a higher resistance build in to show you guys because it didn't hit too fucking hard. Does this hit harder than the regular cherry bomber? I'm gonna say yes. It's not a huge difference, but there is a difference. This is this is a lot more responsive. Um, there's no ramp up time, even with the 20 gauge coils I had in here that usually take a long time to ramp up due to the, how thick the uh, the gauge canthole is. There was no ramp up time. It's just like instant. You hit the button, it was like whoosh, like a fucking explosion. So this thing is very powerful for an un unregulated box. This thing hits extremely, extremely fucking hard, guys. Extremely. The two cherry bombers are the hardest hitting mods I have. As far as unregulated devices go. That's that's it. And I didn't even put the magnets in the button yet. Yes, I don't care what you guys say. There was a fucking difference when I installed the magnets in the button on the original Cherry Bomber. It hit even fucking harder. But this just, it rails. Beautiful. Beautiful fucking box right here. God, when if you guys purchase one of these, when you get this in your hand, you're going to say to yourself, well, fuck, this feels like $350 in my hand. It really does. This feels like a fucking Cadillac, man. 
Beautiful. Beautifully machined. Beautiful fire button. It just fucking chucks the clouds, man. It chucks them. This thing hits like a fucking freight train. Ridiculous. Very nice. I'm giving this a two thumbs up. This is exquisite. It is absolutely a masterpiece. Just like... Just like in their name, Masterpiece Custom Vapes. This is a fucking masterpiece. Gorgeous. A little bit high on the price, but compared to some of those fucking other high-end fucking elite mods, like, you know, like I said, like the Zeros and the Geppetto and what have you, Hemo stuff. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Hemo group, high-end mods only. They're an elite, uh, elite group on Facebook, which is a secret group. It's very hard to get in. Yes, I am a member. I'm not very active. But some of the mods in there go for anywhere, you know, from $1,000 to $5,000. So $350 for something this quality, this limited, I'm going to have to say it's, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. If, you, if you're an extreme vapist like I am, just bite the bullet and just fucking go for it, man. Fuck it. Go for it. Gorgeous. There you have it, guys. I, I'm probably leaving stuff out. I'm a little tired. I'm sorry if I left any information out. I apologize. But that's all I got for you. You know, until next time, subscribe, comment, share, like. Get on our Facebook group, Convicted Vapes, all capital letters. We have over 4,000 members and growing. Um... Uh, you, can re you can reach me at my email, uh, megahead, M-E-G-A-H-E-A-D, at comcast.net. You can reach JTG at his email, snapjersey, S-N-A-P-J-E-R-Z-E-Y, at gmail.com. Um, get on uh, eSig Outpost to get yourself some Convict Juice. It's, the juice line is doing really good. People seem to really love the Convict Juice, which makes me extremely happy. We have not had almost any complaints at all. Besides one troll on the YouTube channel who's complaining about shipping time, which is bullshit because we ship the next business day. Um, and I've never seen his name on the order list, so I think it's just some fucking troll, but whatever. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Remember to vape on and take it fucking deep. Copper Cherry Bomber. Gorgeous. Vape the fuck on. Take it deep, motherfuckers. Heavy metal. Peace.